Okay, so somebody has asked me where is the 4i stuff? And the answer is it came back very quickly from Canada where it took me uh, about a month to post it and uh, or more and then it uh, it came back I think quite a while ago but let's see I've been uh, this has been up to it's been on two defender trips with me I think it's time to use my amazing upper arm cyclist strength who cares about the paperwork let's open the box so we have the 4i box nice for i i i i i and we have the oh look at that factory install jewel side monteur gauche et droite and the box which is impossible and in here we oh look at this this is quite nice actually look you've got the silhouette of Le Crank noise and underneath that we have <laughs> a flap that goes over Le Crank now look at that I don't know if you can see there a little power adapter now this all looks very nice to me it's interesting it is different to what I expected as in I kind of expected oh it's been it looks like it's been it has been welded on that's interesting and makes sense obviously I don't know what I was expecting or not expecting for it to be different but let's see if you can see here it has been brazed or welded I'm not don't correct me if I've got that wrong but it's been stuck <laughs> for want of a better word on there so yeah that's pretty permanent and it doesn't say four eye and stuff on it I thought it'd be more flashy um, but it's got uh, you can see on the back there can you see or not there's a little bit of a recess as well but nice and the chain rings on the wrong way around which is interesting got the Shimano GRX there that's the front of the crank but I think that's <laughs> I don't know what that is I might email them to find out but it may be purely they may be purely symmetric anyway who cares minor things so apart from the crank we had in the box nothing else I know we have this nice bit of packaging and we have a quick start guide in a lovely waterproof little bag patented leak proof airtight seal I like that a lot and hopefully in here there's a little sticker to stick on because I want to tell the world I've got four eye ay 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 on my uh, on my crank let's see so in here we have I do like this bag I really do so obviously baby allen key and some screws which are for removing the front and putting a battery in. I hope there's a battery in there. I'll be slightly disappointed if there isn't. And there'll be a sticker in here. It's a very tight fit getting it out of there. It's a quick start guide. And pad this sticker. Non sticker pas. Oh well. Have to print one off. <laughs> Who cares? I'm looking forward to getting this on and tomorrow getting out. Hopefully, 
in the first sunshine that we've had in the UK for a long time. So on that note, I will leave you with my four ay 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 ay. I can't stop saying that. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? I mean, I I will rattle on, and you can see I'll probably try and point to a video up here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the thinner spindle. I like, but I know a lot of people are, and I know the reasons why, and I don't want to get people get way, way, way too angry about bottom brackets. You know, there's just it's just not that important an issue. But I do like, I do like this, I do like these cranks. Nice bit of hollow metal. And again, if I show you there, look, you can see a little bit of damage there. If that was on a carbon crank, it would look awful. Now it just looks like it's been somewhere and done something. I am going to have to turn this crank the other way around. It is, uh, to say it's driving me around the bend is, yeah, I mean, is an understatement. So here are some macro close-ups that I did with some initial thoughts. Um, here you can see the, I've tightened down the chain ring the right way around. And you can see there's like a part stuck onto the crank itself. And I'll show you in a second. It then extends behind the chain ring. And you can see the ant number there. That uh, when the chain ring was installed from the factory the wrong way around didn't touch. But when you do put it the right way around, it does touch. Uh, and once you torque it down, it does touch quite a bit. You can't slide some paper in the far right part uh, from, from what you're seeing on the screen but uh, I don't think it's going to cause it any issues if it does I might get some spaces there you can see the tolerance in general um, but yeah I mean I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this I will drop an email to for I I'm not going to do the III oh damn I did it sorry I'll try not to do that again so here is side on and again I was expecting a logo there uh, there you can see the brazing I don't know if you can just see that at the top it looks like brazing it may be glue I don't know but yeah I'm missing a logo on the side it's quite a nice material and here we're going for the artistic bokeh YouTube hobo yeah that's enough bokeh come on back we go yep no cinematic look back we go thank you so yeah, it's a nice finish. It works well with the GRX, as you saw. And overall, I'm really happy with it. Um, from this angle, it's a bit kind of strange. It looks a bit sort of, it protrudes and it could be a bit weak. But I, uh, you know, tapped it a bit and whatever. Obviously, I didn't kind of try and lever it off. But it seems solid enough to me. I haven't undone the battery uh, thingy because it uh, doesn't need to be undone. I haven't checked the torque either, which I may do. But yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely lovely. The way it's stuck on where it is, it is unique. There's nothing else um, that I know of. Um, but again, correct me if I'm wrong, if there's anything else like this on the market. Um, and yeah, uh, the turnaround is really quick. And honestly, I mean, it just looks really, really good on the GRX crank. And if you have the 3T Explorer Race Max or indeed any other bike with um, you know, cl close tolerance. I, yeah, I mean, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, honestly, I mean, I'd probably put it on, I'm gonna put it on the other crank, or well, I'm gonna test it first. If it's good, I'm gonna put it on the other crank that I've got. If not, it's going on eBay um, and I'll get pretty much as much as I've uh, paid for it. But I, the reason for that is that I think that this design, as long as it's durable and works, is just a lot better than on the other side because of the clearance it affords. And it looks really nice. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I, yeah, I'm rather really happy with single-sided. Okay, so let's get the old 
one off, well, the old and new one, and get the new new one on. And then get the new new one back and get that with a power adapter as well. glass right so after the blood got that clean we'll grease it up not too sure about this angle just it's so cold at the moment outside without being a big baby nothing wrong with that so and of course yeah you've got to be careful because I nearly bled to death earlier <laughs> but people have been complaining about the startup time I do not I haven't perceived that problem but let's start it up as you can see, that seems a lot quicker than what they're saying. Some people are saying like a minute or so. Starting your career, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, may distract you by saying things like starting up. Let's see. I certainly don't think it's about a minute. I mean, I haven't been recording for a minute and I've been talking rubbish as well. So yeah, I do think it's a bit exaggerated. But let's go to settings. No, I didn't want that. It's very hard to record and see what you're doing at the same time. Sensors. Sorry. And we are going to add a sensor. And I think, do we do Ant or Bluetooth? I'm going to do it ant. So let's choose ant sensors to pair. Let's see if we can spin it backwards and it works. Has it seen it? Yes, it has. So let's add the power. And there we go. We now have power. So hopefully. It'll stop freezing and get it out. But we have a week of rain as well this week. So, yeah, but I'll do it as soon as I can. Unfortunately, I haven't been riding all winter and so I'm a bit of a baby, but I will get out, I promise. And there's going to be a video about getting back out, which hopefully will help you if you're in a bit of a uh, not going out rut with the coronavirus and cold and other things going on. But I hope to tell you all about that one in the next one. Cheers, bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of crap. Yeah. And like and do all those other things. Bell icon. Yeah, that's the one. Cheers. And I shall leave you with some nice macro close-up photography of the thing itself. And let me know what kind of logo or stuff you think needs to go on the sensor here. It just looks empty to me.